Hello everyone, my name is Vinin Shagusintan Yoga. I study at Christian University of Indonesia, Toraja. Well, I made this video to fulfill my assignment from speaking for academic purposes. In this video, talking about the easiest way to learn English. And I want to show you the best way to learn English. The first way. Talk to yourself. Don't translate into English from your own language. Think in English to improve your fluency. And next, word. You will find words easier to remember if you try to remember an example sentence using that word rather the word on its own. And then, be confident. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. And next, speaking. The best way to learn English is speaking. Surround yourself in English. Put yourself in an all English speaking environment where you can learn passively. And then, establish a routine. Make yourself a study plan. Decide how much time a week you are going to spend studying and stick to it. And then, study plan. Tell your family and your friends about your study plan and get them to push you to study. And also, don't let them to interrupt you. And next, verb. When you learn a new word, think of all its other forms. For example, adjective, beautiful, noun, beauty, and adverb, beautifully. And next, core skill. Practice four core skills, improving your writing, reading, listening, and then speaking skills. And next, notebook. Keep a notebook when you learn a new word. And next, test. Plan to take a test. You'll find that you work harder when you need to study for something. Next, books. Children's books have easier work and are a, a good alternative to graded readers. Next, whenever. Use English whenever you can. It's as simple as that. And next, grammar. The most natural way to learn grammar is through talking. And next, Wikipedia. If you are an intermediate English speaker, reading children's books or Wikipedia in simple English might make you feel confident if you understand every word. And next, sing. Sing your heart out. Show the world your beautiful voice. Learn English songs and sing along with them to improve your fluency and your intonation. And next, pen friend. Get a pen friend or use a chat rooms, forums, and community sites. If you can't speak to someone in English, this is the next best thing. Make sure everything you do in your study English brings closer to your goal. If your goal is to talk with native English speakers about films, then watch English films. And if your goal is to pass an English exam so you can study abroad and get a tutor who is qualified to prepare you for that exam. And next, be brave. Nobody likes to hear their own voice, but be brave and try it. You can record your voice and listen to your pronunciation and intonation. It will help you to identify your problem areas. And next, record. Ask your helpful teacher if you can record his lesson. This is the great way to review. And also, you can listen to your teacher pronunciation and speed intonation. And next, post-it notes. Carry cue cards with you. These are small cards which you can write a new words on. And you can pull them out and look at them whenever you have free minute. And next, conversation. Be the person to start a conversation and don't let them to interrupt you. And also, don't wait them to speak to you first. And next, internet. Make use of the internet. It's full of resources that help you to learn English. For example, BBC Learning English, English Grammar, and you can find in the YouTube. And next, enjoy. Enjoy it. We learn more 
when we are having fun. And next, review. Make sure that you take the time to review things you have studied in the past. And the last is, don't give up and stay positive. Sometimes you will feel that you aren't learning quickly enough. Everyone feels like this, but don't worry about it and in the end you'll get there. And the shortest way to learn English is, there are four points. The first, understanding. The second, memorizing. The third is practicing. And the last is, make a little vocabulary book. That's all and thank you.